Welcome to Pahas Believers uh, Network. Uh, this is the day the Lord has made, and we're glad to be in it. I, I know you are blessed already. But I'd like you to understand something. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Labo Shabada. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You're welcome. Um, I encourage you to always, you know, like uh, uh, the videos and then also share with others. Um, there's something I want us to look at. Very, very, very important today. Now, do demons stare the oceans or the waters? What are the reasons behind when you hear that a boat has capsized um, in the sea? And then a lot of mysteries have been on ground. Many believe that those things are demonically engineered and some believe it just happened for maybe uh, one foot or the other. But I have always said, Life is spiritual. Life is spiritual. Especially when something happens in a particular zone or in a particular environment over and over. You must be very careful not to just, you know, interpret it away as human error. Even many of the things that we say is human error, they are not human error. They are demonically engineered human error. Yes. Now, I will show something to prove to you that demons can stare the wind and the sea can become turbulent and cause the boat to capsize. I'd like us to look at the Bible in the book of Matthew chapter 8. We'll be reading from verse 24. Right, no, let's take it from yes, 24 or 23. And when he was entered into Matthew chapter 8 from verse 23, and when he was entered into a ship, his disciples followed him. And behold, there arose a great tempest in the sea, insomuch that the ship was covered with the waves. But he was asleep. And his disciples came to him and awoke him, saying, Lord, save us, we perish. And he said unto them, Why are ye fearful, O ye of little faith? Then he arose and rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was great calm. But the men marveled, saying, What manner of man is this? And even the winds and the sea obey him. If Jesus had, you know, this kind of encounter, then you should be sure that we will have more of this kind of thing coming our way that would demand that will rebuke the wind and the sea to be calm. If we know this secret, many of the boats that capsized wouldn't have capsized. We take scriptures for granted. Now, in John chapter 5, I'd like us to look at John chapter, John chapter 5 from verse 2. Let me show you something there. Now there is at Jerusalem by the ship market a pole, which is called in the Hebrew tongue Bethesda, having five porches. In this lay a great multitude of impotent folk, of blind, hot, withered, waiting for the moving of the water. Waiting for the moving of the water. The moving of the water. Right. For an angel went down a certain season into the pool and troubled the water. Whosoever then first after, first after the troubling of the water stepped in was made whole of whatsoever disease he had. Right. Now, they were waiting. These this, this folks with different kinds of you know, ailments were stationed at the pool. And they were waiting for the moving of the water. And scripture revealed to us that an angel goes there at certain season to um, trouble the water. The language trouble we can we can we can look at um, let's look at what the basic English says about the, the word trouble there. Um, 
Okay, let's let's take this let's take this translation. Um, it says, for an angel went down at a certain season into the pool and trouble is still using the word troubled. I needed something differently. Um, okay, okay. The NTM says, for an angel used to descend from time to time into the bath and disturb the water, whereupon the first person who stepped in after the water was troubled was restored to her, no matter what disease he had been afflicted with. All right. So here the Bible says they were waiting for the moving of the water, and then we also told that the moving of the water is caused uh, was caused by an angel, you know, troubling the water or disturbing the water or stirring the water. All right. Now, if an angel can stir the water, demons can also stir the water. And most times we have this issue with the water bodies because demons. Are at work in that place. So if you are a sailor, if you all you have every any cost to travel on on the waterways, <laughs> you must you must get revelation from the scripture. You must speak to the waves. You must speak to the water, and ensure that the water doesn't go out out of the way. You remember that Paul had this encounter too, when they were moving him, you know, to um to a particular destination. Along with some other, you know, prisoners, they had also an encounter on the road, and the encounter they had on the road it was it was so massive that they, they they nearly lost their life. If not that the spirit of the Lord told Paul that that was not going to happen, they nearly lost their life. What about Jonah? When Jonah was sent to go to um um Nineveh, and then he chose to go to Tarshish, what happened there? The Bible says that when they got to a point, the, the waves became turbulent. They couldn't continue the journey. They were about to lose their life. Something stirred the water. The water didn't just start, you know, stirring itself. Something stirred the water. In that case of Jonah, it was God himself that troubled the water. So that Jonah can discontinue the journey. You know, where he was going to the wrong place, so that he can go to the right place. Where he was assigned to carry out, you know, this, his spiritual task. All right. So demons also stir water and 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 forces of darkness. They do that. All right. Now I I I uh, you know of the um uh, in the mid twentieth century there's this uh, or a urban legendary uh, or legend that um uh, goes on by the Bermuda, Bermuda Triangle or what is called the um. The Devil's Triangle. Okay, there's the the western part of the um, Atlantic Ocean. You know, there's this experience where they recorded. They believe that something mysterious happens around that you know area. And what happens is that there are many you know um, aircraft and ships that just disappeared mysteriously in that location. Okay, though many people didn't believe. But there are some who have, you know, studied, you know, for a while, and they observe that that thing happens around that territory. All right, but whether they believe or not, all I know that possibility can happen. Why? Because demons can steal water just to destroy, just to kill, just to take life. The demons can do that. Satan can do that. Just like road accident can happen, you know, by uh, motivated by a, a demonic, you know, a, a personnel. The same thing also, the water can be stirred by a demon, and the, the boat can capsize on that ground. An aircraft can disappear into the sea, you know, when the force of darkness beckons on it, or compels it to come. The Bible says that the disciples they were they were they were almost losing their life, and they went to call the master. He was asleep. And what did he do? The Bible says he rebukes the wind. The sea calm. The wind ceased. And what was to lead to their death stopped. And they went safely to the land. Okay. What if the master didn't rebuke that? And let me let you know. Let me let you know. If it involves rebuking, it means a spirit being was involved. 
if it involves the master Jesus Christ speaking, be, speaking before the wind can come down, it means a demonic element was behind what was happening. I'm telling you the truth. Do you know that after that after that encounter, that was when they met the 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 mad you know uh, persons that were uh, asking or saying that. Why did you come to interfere with our, our business? So maybe those were the demons that were stopping them so that they, could, they cannot, uh, you know, they couldn't come over to help the madman and deliver the madman. So demons do that. They steal water. They cause accident, both on the road and both in the water. And what are you supposed to do? As a child of God, you should have this understanding. When you're traveling by the, by the water, in the waterway, you must rebuke everything that rises, every waves, every everything that is not in the normal occurrence. Rebuke them so they can save lives. So demons do stay water. And the, the, the earlier you understand this truth, the better. If you're traveling in any of those mean, uh, 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 medium of transportation, make sure, make sure that you speak that, that Satan does not take advantage of the elements of the air against you know, that journey. As you walk with this revelation and this understanding, I pray that the Lord will help you. As you travel on in boats, you are saved. You are saved in the name of Yeshua. You go through plane, you are saved in the name of Yeshua. You go through the road, you are saved in the name of Yeshua. But please learn to speak in any vehicle, any boat, any plane you enter. Don't just take things for granted. The Lord give you understanding. Share these videos with others. And the Lord bless you. And until we meet again, be very, very strong in the Lord. And don't allow any experience make you believe that God is far from you. God is right where you are.